what will happen to Crystal Candelero in prison? Now, before I get into that, this is one of the worst cases I've ever covered on my channel. This demon who's supposed to be the mother, this piece of shit who's supposed to protect and keep safe and, and, and be there for her child, left her 16-month-old baby girl toddler alone in her pack and play for 10 days while she went and partied on vacation in Detroit and Puerto Rico. That's the ultimate act of betrayal. Calling her a piece of shit demon is almost giving her a compliment. And prior to that, she left the baby home like that for two days, almost to do like a test run. Sick piece of shit. So it gets even sicker. So she comes back after her 10 day vacation, pictures all over the internet, new me, new year, you know, the whole thing. She comes back, the baby is dead. Of course, I mean, what? would you think what happened to a 16 month old toddler that you left with no water, no food, probably covered in feces. You didn't call your family. You didn't call anybody. You went and left that baby by itself and partied. And her excuse was that she was off her medication and she didn't know what was going on, but you knew enough to get dolled up. You knew enough to put a filter on your face when you posted all them photos to Instagram and Facebook and all that other social media. You knew how to buy tickets. You knew how to travel to Puerto Rico and enjoy all the beaches and take all these pictures. But your, your mental health wouldn't allow you to take care of your 16-month-old toddler. She then takes all the dirty stuff, all cleans up the baby, redress her, calls the cops and acts like it just happened. Telling them she doesn't know what happened. They bring her in for an interview. Obviously, the medical examiner sees the baby starved to death, was completely dehydrated. Just They know that this lady completely neglected and let her baby die. They let her tell all the lies that, no, I've been home for all the time the baby really wasn't eating it was a little sick they finally hit her with all the evidence like wait so you were home when you posted this to social media when you're in puerto rico or right here this receipt of this place and that place she finally admits it oh it was because i wasn't taking my medication come on you sick piece of shit the ultimate betrayal the parent once again once again chooses their own life their own satisfying ways over their own child people we're living in a crazy world we must protect our kids we must be by their side at all times because these people aren't worth a fuck out here just imagine if somebody met her and she became a stepmother you must keep this evil away from your child. Protect your children at all costs because these people, they're more concerned about putting something on social media than feeding and taking care of their kid. So she ends up getting life in prison. And let me tell you how prison is going to be for her. So I talked to a friend of mine who's a female and she's doing 45 years currently in prison. And she would give me the rundown of how women like that or women who hurt their own kids are treated. Because a lot of women are usually stripped of their kids. And the worst thing for a mother that does love her kid, not a piece of shit like this, but say a mother who, you know, got caught up on drugs or made some stupid mistakes, but really loved her kid and has been a great mother, is to lose their kid. Or a lot of women are pregnant get sentenced, lose their kid while they're in jail, have to give it to their family. They never see the baby for more than five seconds after they have it till they get out of prison, if they ever get out of prison. So they hate, hate women that do this to their own. Regardless, they hate any woman that does it to any kid, but something about a mother seeing another mother doing it to something that they had stripped away from them, they torture them. She was telling me that you know, women aren't as violent as men are, but they're more psychologically violent. 
I asked her, like, what, what do you think will happen to her? She said, oh, they're going to poison her food. They're going to poison her. What they'll do is they'll get a dirty razor blade, whatever, like a type of needle, get it all covered in all different type of feces, shit, piss, blood, poke her with it as she's coming out. Serve her a tray covered in all types of shit and blood and just chicken juice trying to give her salmonella and all types of poisoning going in her cell and she's like we won't like just steal your canteen what we'll do is we'll get all you know your feminine products and we'll poison them and let you see that they've been tampered with just to let things be harder and harder for her she says they do this to women all the time non-stop they come together as a family and they mentally torture these evil demonic women who kill and just completely betray their own children. If you ask me as a, as a man who grew up in the prison system, that's intense. You know, the poisoning, the constant getting feces thrown in your face, getting poked with needles, having your food, having your just products that you use for your own, you know, feminine health, just completely tamper with every day you're worried that you're going to get some type of disease, get pissed on in your face, blood in your food, whatever it is. No matter what, you trust your gut instinct because it's always better to be wrong for doing the right thing than to be right for doing the wrong thing. Protect these kids. Stay out. Stay free. Us.